Hello there, everyone, and welcome to the Back to Front mod for Hearts of Iron 4. I'm your host, Mr. Funny Flag Lover. But right now, we're doing some synthetic rubber. Large scale motorization, aviation requires large amounts of rubber, which we know owe no resources. We must improve the way we create it synthetically, which is going to be great, 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 great. And we can do a Reich's Auto Bomb, which would not be bad, too. So, Vienna Ward, we'll see. That's a Ubung. Operation Tannen Bomb, we will do that eventually as well, but we'll probably do Naval Rearmament next. The Anglo-German Naval Agreement was secured in 35, allows us to expand our Navy greatly. We should spare no effort in doing so, but now we've gone to war with the Dutch. And in just a second here, we'll go to war with the good old Belgian boys. Uh, I'd like to be able to see what they have there before we actually do go to war, but... Um, let's move through the Dutch quickly first. Synthetic rubber, of course. Naval Rearmament would be very nice. Um, let our guys move around a little bit more quickly. I mean, the Dutch aren't really able to put up a fight. Which is quite delightful, I would say. Quite delightful. Oh, hello. Oh, Italy. Benito. Sure, guys. You wanna come on in? No problems. Uh, of course, we need more fuel. Uh, quite a few comments from yesterday did say. We'll get there. Uh, war bonds. Do we want to get something else here instead? Maybe, perhaps, first? Shona, air bonus assault, fleet logistics. Naval AA attack. Also, we did lose quite a few of our uh, uh, subs, which kind of sucks. Spare in innovations. I kind of. We definitely need that guy. Um, so yeah, we lost quite a bit, quite a few guys, unfortunately. Um, and for these subs, uh, air reduction cost. Ground attack. Ooh. We're already done with our stuff there, so we might as well go with that one, right? It only makes sense for us to. Hmm. There's so much stuff here that I want to go with. So much stuff. Fuel gain per oil. Synthetic oil research speed. Getting more compliance would be nice, but how much compliance are we actually going to really need, though? We get local available resources plus 10%. Um, DEA. I like both of these quite a bit. This is really quite nice as well. Fuel gain from refineries. Resistance activity chance goes down as well. More encryption would be good. I mean, all these are really awesome to have. Uh, before we do DEA, what is the resistance like? So we have Poland here. Oh, and there's a bad word amount of resistance growth. Can we make a... Or X Commissariat yet? No, actually. Yeah, we do this. No, host. Last formation of subject states and conquered territories. Well, we're trying to get Romania in first before we go this way. So. Because we have these guys here too. More compliance would be nice. Lower resistance would be even better. Um, actually, you know what? How about we get a Prince of Terror first? Let's get more non-core manpower. Better damage garrisons and stuff like that. Even though we it is 1940. We do need some more synthetic research, but that's okay. Go for a couple of days, 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 and can know this is an enemy. Oh, watch out! Yeah, we lost a crap ton of ships, which is really bad. Whatever. Let's go. Let's go more now. Tanks go on in. They join the allies. That's fine. No one cares. There they go. There they go. Very nice. Very nice. Go in if you can to go that direction too. Bakvolov would be very nice. Get some of that, some naval bombers as well. Since we're here, we have so much air XP already. Uh, that'd be a little bit over, unfortunately. So, can we do that? Hurts our reliability, but I honestly don't care. But hurts our agility as well. Uh, can't max it out anymore. 480. It gives us plus almost everything here, so. And then you guys did great so far. Just focus that way. Focus, focus, focus. They want to attack us, that's fine. I, no one really cares. So, take out the airbase if you can. Really trying to pierce us, eh? I'll take out Luxembourg last, probably. In all honesty, as well. Come on, come on. Move, 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 move. Get a Dunkirk. Oh, they seeded Bessarabia. It is, of course, 1940. Losing quite a few planes, we'll suck at some stuff here as well. It'd be nice. Hungarians are moving through here. Oh, look at that. Two divisions. Not bad. Could be more, but whatever. Yeah, there goes the Belgian boys. The north is completely exposed, which is great, great, great. You guys are hanging out here, which is great, great, great. And your guys' jobs are rush to Paris. Rush, rush, rush. Please rush. Please clap. Two divisions need to die. Division of Yugoslavia. We've conquered Yugoslavia together with our allies, and it's now time to divide the lands. Leave it. I'll go with the struggle divisions. 
French overwhelmed. Oh, the attack of our panzer units through the Belgian Ardennes, we are now ready to smash the Allies. It's going to be a complete surprise for the defenders as they expect our main offensive to come through the Maginot Line. Don't rush, or result in a very challenging invasion of France, Buskrieg. Uh, I mean, you might as well do this one, right? Wow, more attack and defense. Oh. Take out Luxembourg next after this, too. Like I said. Uh, there you go. Have fun. Okay, I was expecting something very easy here, but I don't see... Like, any French divisions except on the line here. What the heck? France. Hold on. France, 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 France. They're literally about to get capitulate. They've already lost Paris. Half a million have died. And they have... Over, at least 75 divisions. Triumph in France. Oh. Well, Schneikies. Our victory in France is nearly complete. The French government has asked for an armistice and our diplomats have prepared terms which they have agreed to. They have return, retained control of southern France while we are free to occupy the rest. Cool. Unstoppable German war machine. That's, and you know, we'll, we'll just use the things for this too. Well then. We need a lot more rubber. We need a lot more rubber. Uh, not bad. So now, I'm going to bomb living crap out of the, this area here, too. Get some planes here. Get some radar. Air bases. We'll try an invasion here first. We'll see what happens, but, we'll, you know, you never know. Um, in the meantime, you guys can come over to here. There's not very struggle when we take out Switzerland, but, you know, you never know. On in. Yep. Three, two. And the death of Rudolf Hess. No, no. Deputy Fuhrer Rudolf Hess was killed yesterday when the Royal Air Force intercepted the heavy fighters flying off the coast of Scotland. The exact nature of his mission remains unclear, though Hess was an accomplished pilot. He flew alone, and his airplane does not appear to have been armed. His remains were discovered by British authorities. But a safe funeral with an empty coffin has been scheduled in Berlin. Hitler was reported as being visibly distraught by the death of his old friend, that poor fool, which, honestly, it doesn't make any sense why Rudolf Hess would have gone by himself there. It really doesn't. Like, that's still very, very questionable, even today. Like, it doesn't make any sense. I don't understand it. I don't claim to understand it. What are we going to get next? Oh, yeah. Heinrich Himmler. Yeah. Oh, good old Heinrich. Everyone loves a good Heinrich. Actually, we have infantry divisions here, too. Why do we have infantry divisions? Oh, we get land guys here, here, here. Using these guys would not be terrible, but still. Alright, so with that in mind, we don't have that many planes, uh, fortunately. And we'll use whatever we have here, including CAS, naval bombers. God, it's not going to go very well, is it? Load them up. Uh, that's all you can do for, huh? Alright, so be it. Do the best you can. And there are some subs. Ooh, six subs died, which is great. Alright, so you guys just go in. There you go, nice. Alright, so with that in mind, from deep to Dover, from here to there, there, and then bing bong, da bong, da bing. Uh, actually, don't go here. Might be able to get naval air supremacy, we'll see. Um, this would definitely help us out. Ooh, that's not bad, but we got lots of political power. Ah, oh, rest in peace. Yeah. That put down a lot of resistance. And this cavalry brigades, which we could have just looked at from there. Uh, ooh. That's definitely not what we want. Hold on. Is that the one we, we have? Yeah, it's the only one we have. So we take these guys off. Um, we want really... Really want military police. So we'll probably get military police next. We're already working on it, which is great. She's in this description, which is nice. Um, the British are actually pretty good at doing this stuff, so it won't be good for us to be like that, but whatever. And we'll send in the tanks tier too when we get there. Actually, you know what? Since you're here anyways, we're not nearly invading next immediately, so let's invade with tanks. In the mountains, sounds like a really god-awful idea. After naval rearmament, um, that's a Ubung, we do want to do that. Ooh, reintegrate Luxembourg and Alsace Lorraine. With the successful reconquest of historical German areas, we can begin the process of the reintegration into the Reich. The populations must be allowed to do their patriotic duty for the fatherland. Nice. Oh, now we do oper Ah, it's 25 days. Who cares about the focus? Just get it done. We're gonna need more planes here. Mm -hmm. 
That's all we got, huh? Not good enough. There you go. That should be better. I need a bomb loading crap out of all their ships. Um, any spare guys? You know what? Get some over here too. We need more rubber, but we can't import. Oh, actually, never mind. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Um, uh, how many fighters do we actually have? Not many, so I don't want to take any off of there. Uh, light tanks are fine. You can remove some of those guys. as much stuff as possible. They boosted themselves up even more. Uh, yeah, I'll do that one first. Kinda gonna suck. But at the same time, getting some air bases here will be good, as well as a radar. That's our M's. Normandy, 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 yeah. Normandy first. Group computing machine, which is good. Better radar, yes. Please. Gonna be is gonna be fuel wise. No, we're okay. Huh? Hungarian bomber competition. Hungarian Air Force is currently holding trials for new medium bomber. According to the air task share, new small as a poison whim. A former request from the Hungarian government is expected shortly. Representatives of the manufacturer strongly in favor of the sale, but there are national security questions or concerns about selling most modern equipment to a foreign country. Should we go through the sale? Why not? Why not? Japanese proposed a tripartite pact. Given fuel command, hmm, we could, but. Uh, the Great Empire, the Empire of Greater Japan, has said on the feelers to ascertain our interest in a three-power pact between ourselves, the Japanese, and the Italians. The Japanese argued that it's imperative that we support each other in light of increasingly global, host also global opinion directed against our efforts. Sure. And some comments as we're waiting for here for everything else. It's including, you really need to fix your fuel problem. That's what makes it hard, and considering you're going mobile warfare, fuel is really a top priority. Uh, either trade with Romania, the Soviets for the time being, or anyone else which who is not your enemy. So let's put some light recon tank companies in your infantry divisions and a ton of gas, and we will we, we have a lot of green bubbles. Keep doing your fantastic commentary. Thank you. Someone says, I can't wait to see a strong Argentina. Someone says, what a blessed thing to have when you have three videos a day. Someone says, after this, you should try the communist 1984 ask Germany path in new ways. We could try Argentina struggling here, though. Um, someone says, uh, I just installed that mod a day ago. Cool. Uh, someone says, please, when it comes to, a no to liberate non-Balkanized France and UK, the plan, which was a plan in real life. And the ROA's goal is to remove Stalin and Bolsheviks and secure honorable peace with Germany. Oh. So said, uh, the same person says, man in the man in the better in every way castle. Yeah. Better is a better man in the castle. Than this is. Someone says, do UMC Germany it just got released? I did notice that mod at the time was recording the UMC mod, a United mod, or Unified mod. Cool. And we should have a do really darn well. But we'll see what happens. Because we definitely need more fuel. They sign it? Great. Great. Great, great, great. All oh, right. Yeah, we have only nine ships, which sucks, which is god awful. Terrible, terrible, terrible. I know. Mm, who can give me the stuff? Iran. Some radar here. Actually, radar will help us out quite a bit, so that'd be good. And we should have radar very, 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 very soon. As we go to war. But these guys down here. Ah, two destroyers have been sunk. Good. Okay, guys, come on. Alright, so we got the first thing on radar, which will help us out. We have to see just a little bit more. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, we lost sub. Oh, no, I lost a sub. Look, see. Yeah, they're not very good, are they? Yeah. The division just pretty much get destroyed instantly, which is really nice. Uh, I know it's not very historical, but whatever. They've got the 30. Two divisions now. So, why would you blow the Suez? Oh, we should send some cast around there too, but really focus on England first. Um, well, that's a little concerning, not gonna lie. Especially 1940, but whatever. Zurich, yeah, these guys are falling way faster than I thought they would. Hey, they gave us some fuel. Hey, and fuel refining done, is done as well? Great. Yeah, this is, of course, 1940, population, monthly research speed, fuel. Just in case. These guys get a little crazy. And we can do some of this too. Organization would be great. You bunch of ding dongs. Is there more fuel? Yes, please. 
and I'll station you guys up here. Ah, good. No, oh, but now we don't even have a uh, Dora, huh? Enough army XP for that. God dang it. War bonds? Yeah. Keep building stuff. I will, we will not naval invade until we get some like actual like radar here. So that'll be good. Go ahead and move our ships around here too. Nice. We don't need them in the ocean for, in the ocean in the channel for very long, just long enough. You know what? That's okay. Keep doing that one too. No, stop training it. That costs fuel too. Well, the air takes the most. Hey, not bad. Two destroyers sunk as well. Doing okay ish for now. Well, ooh. I was gonna save, but who do we want? Bosna? Uh, Turkish nationality, huh? Auto. Gotta get auto. Let's save just in case. Could we actually naval invade very slyly, potentially? I kind of doubt it. I honestly really doubt it. But we, do you have anything here? You lost a lot, you ding dong. You can grab that just because you can. Um, can you guys actually naval invade? I mean, yeah, I guess we're going to try for it. Force it. Junkers? Nice. Very good, very good. Uh, carrier stuff? Not really needed for us. Land, 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 land. Hey, we landed. Nice. Yeah, would you look at that? Hey, would you look at that? You, that's moving. Kill him off. Go there. Beautiful. Now we're going to really run out of fuel here. Hopefully the Soviets don't start invading us. Because we're going to do this. Go, 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 go. A go, go. Beautiful. Well, we've landed. Time to keep pushing in. Nice. Yeah, they're going to really bring out a bunch of planes here now that we've, uh, <laughs> we've navally invaded. Go, 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 go. Take that. No more radar for them. Good, good, good. Less air bases for them. Very good, 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 good. Oh, Stukas. Ooh, we don't have enough for this. Nice. Close air support 2. Where is it? We're going to run out of fuel like crazy here, very quickly. Are you guys over here yet? Just go. Just go. Swarm them if you can. Go up there. Go up there. Well, we're running out of fuel in about two weeks. Not good. Well, there's one more from you. Yes, thank you. And then you guys do that. Yeah, I really just protect the stuff here. Ooh, actually, do we have another ship? Nice. My bad for losing all that stuff. Oh, London's completely surrounded. And those divisions are dead. And London is ours. Okay. Earlier destroyers, not bad. Um, you guys... Baldland? Another victory for the Baldland. Or Vaterland. Which, I don't think Germany ever referred to its home country as the Vaterland. But, you know, whatever. As far as I can remember. Reading about that. Uh, something like refineries, yes. Start working on Poland, too. The GNC, no one cares. Swansea. Beautiful. Beautiful. Go around. Oh, six more divisions encircled. Yes. Well, for now, we'll see what we do with these things. We got plenty of convoys, but still, we won. <laughs> and just in time to reintegrate these guys too. Um, you know, we're gonna take all states first, and maybe form Rex Commissariats very soon too. Just take all states for now. Ooh, that means we have to pay for. Uh... Ooh, this is gonna be really ugly. Do that first. Uh, let me do this off screen first and then we'll see what we'll do. Italian German tr Technology Treaty. It is suggests an exchange of technology and ideas that will bring our nations closer and make us both stronger. Mm, German technology is only for the German people, of course. Cool. 
Um, at this point, we're making a lot more air bases, radar stations to get ready for Operation Barbarossa. Uh, we actually have a good amount of fuel-ish right now. We'll get some of that too. Build ourselves up even more, 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 more. Wow. it's a lot of rubber that we do have. We did have to puppet um, the Raj. Of course, it did help. We did have unstoppable German war machine, which is really nice. We do have the state of Burma under us as well, as well as uh, German Malaya. What's in Tyron? Tyrone. I guess we did fully annex the Dutch East Indies, but you know, whatever. Uh, no, we're good, guys. We're good. So we have the Raj under us, too. Pretty nice. Oh, crap. A wait, agent captured. Oh, yeah, ding dong. I just sent you to Russia. I sent you to Russia, too. You ding dongs. Are you kidding me? Well, that sucks. Um, in the meantime, we want to form Rex Commissariats, but we need to have this person with us. Um, yeah, more medium tanks. When in doubt, more medium tanks, please. Because I never really understood. Like, we have armored recon. Flame tanks sound like fun, but I don't really know how to, what type of template to use for them. Um, mediums? Look at that. That means we got, got enough, huh? Help us improve the amount of armor we have, and more, way more breakthrough, too. Do that for now. Uh, that is still 1940. Uh, anti air would be nice. Ooh. More to your hardness. More hardness for everybody? Sure, well, let's, let's get hard. Uh, what else? Anything else around here? Move oil processing would be great. More rubber would be great. Can we rescue some of our guys yet? Probably not. We're, well, that's gonna take a while. They're probably both gonna die. Crap. Also, we didn't. We never went to war with the uh, the Danes. So yeah. Close the Burma Road. Word peace, which is great. Uh, integrate the Malaysian fleet, which sounds like fun. So, uh, but we're doing that to come turn back right now. Interference by the Communist International and internal affairs of the nations not only endangers their internal peace and social well-being, but also menaces the peace of the world. We'll ask many of the non-communist countries to send the pact and make sure that we keep the right menace in check. Yeah. Oh, we can also do improve national spirit. It gives a daily political power, which would be great, but let's go ahead and do integrate the war economies. The nations in our sphere of influence have grown to an extreme economic dependence on us. We can use this to increase our control over the economies and our influence on the foreign policies. It'd be great. And then we'll do this one. Improve our national spirit. With the capital cities of the victors of the Great War in our hands, we can finally cast off the shadows of our defeat. A new age is dawning for Germany. McLean, Long, yes. Twenty-eight percent. Twenty-nine, and then one percent, two percent. There you go. Uh, is there a blueprint capture efficient? Well. You're like the dude we have to send anyway, so it's fine. Carol II abdicates, which is fine. Um, I kind of want to do this, but I want the fleet first. G62 would be great. Better military police. Cavalry, replace you with military police. Ah, should up out resistance quite a bit. Any partisan? Yes. Be de very, 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 very delightful. They obviously don't need our help right now. We did divide up Yugoslavia very nicely as well, which is great. Oh, no thanks. Keep making our stuff. Oh, we need way more aluminum. Um, let's reduce our dependency on these guys. Way, way, way reduce our dependency. Of course, we need stuff from German Malay as well, so there you go. No more. We'll get more aluminum too, but we'll wait for that. Yeah, Italy doesn't really need us for this, which is fine with us. Mm. I like that compliance speed growth, because we can really use it right now. But actually, I'm sorry, Ooh. No nutrition risk? There you go. Progress. Antipartisans. Technology levels. Ah. So your fleet was not worth it. But good to know regardless. Nice. Good stuff. Good stuff. As we continue to build up all this stuff as well, as well now as max infrastructure, which is 
pretty pretty nice. Loveland has another airbase, which is good too. And we'll do that too. Train. Train until you die, pretty much. Plenty of planes now. Plenty, plenty, plenty of planes. Ooh, plenty of naval bombers. A lot of naval bombers too. Which was a faster way to convert all these planes into something that we could really want and use. Aluminum. I mean, more as well, right? All right. In Scotland? Netherlands. Operation completed. Alright, spies have conducted their task in the Soviet Union. Don't forget to resign your new spies new operations. As Titanic struggles with national survival, must use every asset and every advantage. The assets believe that there are many in the Netherlands who would gladly pick up arms and fire by our side against the threat of global Bolshevism. Well, the Vermont agrees in principle that some recruitment of suitable volunteers could be useful. The generals on OKW very strongly believe that any foreign volunteer should be under military, not SS command. Compromise? Generals protest? The veteran motorized 23rd SS Division Nederland will appear without any equipment, but full manpower strength. A massive recruitment campaign for the SS. An armored SS Panzer Nieder uh, Division Nederland. Oh, with Anton Musset. I love OKW okay, to recruit a small number of specialists under support personnel. It's not bad. Um, do a massive one. I don't know. I don't. I don't remember what's historical. I said that we want to do historical, but I don't remember which one's historical. I don't know my my lore that much. My World War II lore. And we can't probably... Yeah, we can't use these contact divisions. Well, these guys aren't bad. They'll deal with it. Juno's resigned in protest. Citing poor health, Herman Boehm has resigned his commission immediately. However, it is an open secret that Herman Boehm was an outspoken critic of the government's policy regarding the Waffen SS, particularly the decision to allow foreign volunteers to serve in SS divisions. Reportedly, Herman Boehm insisted on saying his goodbyes to the Fuhrer in person, which led to a heated discussion between the two about the allocation of research and the war effort. Even though we're... We're literally not even at war. Boehm. Some other officers in Wehrmacht have voiced similar concerns, and that some have indicated they might consider following him. Good. He left before they could infect others. Try to convince him that oh, his duty out. Oh, yeah, his duty outweighs. Yeah, bro. Get over yourself. We need you. You guys. I'll put you guys here. And integrate war economies. I want to do that one, but we need to formalize the commissariats immediately. Are you kidding me? Uh, to improve the use of local resources, industry, manpower, we should look into establishing quasi autonomous subjects in our conquered areas. Yes, please. Happy 41, everybody. Um, they accept economic integration. Well, the Romanian government have informed us that they accepted our proposal for the integration of our war economies. They eagerly wait our guidance so that they may model the military honor template of success. Beautiful. And Hungary accepts war. Oh, that's so strong. I love it. Beautiful. Delightful. Oh. Well, since you're here too, you might as well do this too then. I didn't realize we could only have like up to three generals under each field marshal, so. Four. Uh, you can have Rommel. It'll be an infantry guy for now. And step. Choose. We're done with motorized. If anything, we'll make them really thicker later, but, you know. Panzer divisions, any more medium tanks, perhaps? Yeah. Save that for now. Uh, military police, eh, don't really need that. SS recruitment loyals, minus 10. Mood and OKW is still calm. And see, Greece doesn't need your help. They look at, why did you do that? Greece. Why did you do that to Greece? Why don't you just eat, eat all of it? Ah, oh, sometimes you really just don't question AI. Oh, you ding-dongs. You know what? Screw it. There you go. Um, I guess we focus more on naval dockyards, I guess, for now. It's fine. Claim the Greater German Reich. We'd like to do that, but we can't. We'll get there. At least that's a plan. 
collaborators. With the capital cities of the great uh, victors of the Great War in our hands, we can finally cast a shadow off our defeat, a new age of dying for Germany. Oh, I forgot to show you uh Japan is slowly winning in China as well. Right now, French state, us down here. America's looking okay, but I gave all the territory to Argentina. Like all the South American ter ter territory, because I didn't want to deal with it. Oh, that's not good, they're out of manpower. Hey, that's not good. <laughs> Even with five percent more recruitable population and militarism, or military youth. Uh, it's still not enough. Of course, then again, I mean, look at that. SSO optimization AI. That does kind of screw them over. Kirshner? Oh. Savigia Legia. What does this do? The Slovenian Legion is a Slovenian military formation that collaborated with the Italians and Germans during the Second World War. De facto, it was a militant wing of the Slovenian People's Party. The organization of an underground anti Yugoslav armed formation began at the end of April 1941, at the height of hostilities in the Balkans. The first meeting of the employees of the Legion took place on May 29, 1941, in Ljubljana. The main objectives of the Legion's work were the arming of Slovenian, Slovenian nationals, the fight against the Yugoslav partisan communists, and the collection of information for the Italian and German troops. Despite its cooperation with the Italian and German forces, the Legion gradually established contact with the British intelligence and the government of Yugoslavia in exile. Fear uh, of the partisans forced the Slovenes to actively join the Legion after Italy surrendered. The Legion gradually began to dissolve. Most of it entered the territorial militia units, similar to the Slovenian National Army. Slovenia will be free. And we can't enter this division too. God dang it. Ah. Ah, we have MEFO bills. Makes sense. Lots of air bases around here. Lots and lots and lots of air. You know, just in case. Put some naval bases here too. Just in case. Supply wise, we're going to suck around some of these areas as well, which is going to take forever to make. I'm going to go in there. It is going to suck, 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 suck. But that's alright. Anything else here? Um, honestly, I don't want to be bothered with all these extra scrappy planes. So, Shangxi is gone. No one cares. Mil better military police is very good. Don't want to deal with it. Carrier fighters, don't want to do that unless we make our own. Cass, don't want to deal with it either. I'll deal with the two Stukas though. Naval bombers, it's fine. Naval bombers, don't care. Tactical bombers, don't care. Naval bombers, eh, whatever. Nice. All right, four of the next commissariats, yes, don't mind if we do. 41, better radar. Good, improved national spirit. And what do we have over here? Hands a shift. What is 41? We should probably try to get better ships, anyways. Battle cruiser armor, not battleship armor is where it's at. Secondary batteries, anti air 3, anti air 3. Uh, get better at playing catapults eventually, too. And then it's fine. Two, three. There you go. What else do we have? Mechanized equipment. I guess we really need it. Not really. We'll deal with it. All right. So, collaborators, nothing here, which is kind of weird. Okay. Um, case Anton. Niederlande, England, and Belgian Lord Frankreich. Um, Balzin, Scotland, Poland, Frankenreich. Integrate the former Prussian states. The former Prussian states into the Reich. What do you mean? Oh, Lebensraum integration. Integrate Bohemia, Moravia, and the general government. Don't West Benetta. Oh. Southern Slovakia. They already own Southern Slovakia. West Benet. Um, Ireland. Ireland. Well, only they're our puppet. And they're not our puppet, so... I don't see the point of doing that. Hello. Oh, we need Barbarossa. Wait. Yeah, we still need to do... Oh, hello, Joseph Stalin. My bad, I forgot that we needed to do Barbarossa. My bad, my bad. Not completed, very good. Hungary, Carpathia, Ruthenia, to Hungary, Ruthenia. Um, I don't want to screw up our front lines yet. I want to do all these like at the end, just so that like it, we'll be done with the wars and stuff. So, 
Yeah. Uh, War of the USSR. We can focus on propaganda efforts on preparing the German people and the world for a righteous war on the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics. Pretty much, man. Pretty much. Um, anything else? I mean, besides rubber and refineries. Railways. Looking okay. We don't have Bulgaria with us either yet, too. At this point. Maybe Scotland? Maybe we liberate Scotland first. And I'll do Scotland. Tom Moore. Very cool. Oh. Are you kidding me? You just went there. I guess at this point we could uh, prepare a collaboration government. We try it. Well, crap. Are you kidding me? And how do we do this one? Oh. Oh, we just go into this one too. There you go. They're led by whom? Oh, Hadrish! Oh, you're not dead! I thought you're supposed to be dead by now. Not in my book. I love free cores. Well, they're not free. They cost 75 power. You look acquired post shifters into the Reich. It's alright. It's all good. Um, are we just finding you guys? No, we're not. Probably a mistake. Of course, we never did best of Ubung either. Or oh, Tannenbaum. My bad. Norway is a critical uh, strategic point. It would be an obvious point of attack for any enemy wanting to disrupt or tr steal trade with the Swedish. We cannot risk our enemies setting up their bases in the region to obtain a good strategic area for the invasion of Norway. We need to move on Denmark first. Well then. Oh. Well, since we have them core, I don't see a point of doing that one. Foreign volunteers. Integrate the Romanian fleet, huh? It's a little different. That's a Ubung. Well, or the stars where we got it. French date. They just straight go to war with us. They don't even ask us for anything. They just straight go to war with us. What the heck? Well, didn't expect going to war with these guys anytime soon, but look at where we're at. Um, sure, guys. This is weird. Very weird. England. Give him field command? We could. More industrial stuff. Psychological warfare. We're on the 13th, which is fine. It's fine. And this is technically a defensive war, so. Anyone else? Yeah, go with Goebbels. Uh, we love Papa Goebbels here. We got some tactical bombers, but Cass, I love me some Cass. Oh, we'll deal with the uh, Japanese once this war with the Soviets is over. We're gonna lose these territories, but whatever. The time to find force, though. Huh. We need some aluminum. Gonna need some tungsten. Get what you need for now. All right. Thank you. 
in progress. Good so far. Wow. China's about to die. They have not lost that many guys at all. Yeah, we'll deal with this later. Um, here. Yeah. Himmler, you can come on aboard. England. Lithuania. Hmm. Good lower autonomy, too. No, looking pretty good so far. Lower the field amount we get from them first. Soviet Union, no. There you go. Just make it up with that stuff. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Put up a lot of roads, too. Converting things. Don't really need to do that either for now. Um, high Command. Castle Ring. Grime. We'll wait for that guy. Go offensive. What else do we have? Half a million things of infantry equipment. Anti-air is good. Do we have enough anti-air on, on our individual divisions, maybe? Yeah, we do. Recon. Uh, desert plus 5%. Plus 10%. We would have enough. Let's give us a little bit more armor. Field capacity, a little more piercing, a little more defense, not very much. Eh, add it in, why not? Screw it. Whoa, SS mobile battalions. That's kind of cool. Whoa. That's actually really cool. I've never seen, we haven't seen these yet. SS Algemein. That's really cool. How many more days would we have to wait? Too long, eh? Well, so be it. We'll deal with them later. No. Grand Bielstock. Ara for us, see. It's fine. McDonald's are doing well for us over here. Yeah. Interesting. Definitely not expecting that for this campaign. Damage everything you see. I don't really care. War with the USSR. So, again, Vienna war we could do. Vesa Ubung. Uh, we could wait. Air innovations. Why not? Modern war is going to be one without dominating the skies. We must do everything in the power to develop the Air Force. Now, this might go poorly. It might go very poorly. What if we did end up going to war with them? It's a little late to do that. What if we did this? We only send a body to some time for the attack. Can you force it through? Yeah. Oh, they're doing force defense too. Ooh. Bad choice. Continuation war loses. The end of Bolshevik regime draws near. Anything in the war in the east. The deeper we get into Soviet territory, the less effective our soldiers will become. Well, when we capture three Soviet cities, Moscow, Leningrad, and Stalingrad can stop the attrition of our armies in Russia. Retreating our armies back into Germany will only worsen our situation. And add length any war in the East. Let's capture these cities quickly before this gets out of hand. As we're preparing the collaboration government, we also probably should do some other stuff here too. Uh, looks like we've got some more options here. If you're a directive 21, the German armed forces must be prepared to crush Soviet Russia in a rapid campaign. The bulk of the Russian army will be destroyed by daring operations led by armored spearheads. Oh, huh. that's cool. Work conditions, we could do that too, but we can wait. Repair the Suez. Oh, we need Cairo and Sinai. Oh, we need this one too, huh? Well, you know what? Sorry, Italy. I'll take this back. Because I don't think that you have the funds, the industry to really repair it, so. Cairo. Oh, we need Cairo. Oh, come on. I don't like I want these tiles. I just want to repair the stupid sweats when we get there. I'm not going to fight until they die, which is fine with me, but still. Uh, more.
more attack, please. Delay, inspector thrust. Uh, we'll wait. Wow, they've got a crap ton of planes in the air, don't they? We're doing a crap ton of damage, though. Improve uh, entry equipment too. Get some of that as well. No, I want you guys near the top here. Would you drive all the way up that way if you can. There you go. Three. Two. One. They've already lost a third of a million, not bad, but then again, Russian bodies are cheap. Go. Go to Riga. Yes. Yes. Laskovitz is doing great, and it's coming down here too. Eight divisions. Not bad. Cut him in F. Yeah, I want to form all the Rocks Coming Starts when we're done with the war. <laughs> Maybe we'll take out the United States first and then go to. We don't have to, though, but, you know, we could. Drive up that way if you can. Hmm. Sure, why not? Not bad so far. Losses for us. 35,000, not bad. Not bad. Only so much fuel, of course. But still. Leningrad? No, oh, I don't go there. Go to Smolensk. Like the war in the east. The deeper we get into the Soviet territory, this will be less uh, strong. Modifying the length of the war in the east by the Soviet Union and Soviet Republics. Minus 10% attack bonus against the country. Less defense bonus. Let's capture cities quickly. Fall of Kiev. That's good. Karl Egelsir. Interesting specialist. Anything here we really care about? Not really, no. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. It's already October, which sucks, but whatever. Air bases. Just in case for naval bases. Nice. That'd be good. Air doctrine is, of course, fully done. Ray's making you talk, which is fine. Hey, a couple divisions encircled here, not bad. Beautiful. Concentrate some tanks up here, even though it's really incredibly muddy and god awful. Just push. Maybe just want to go towards Gomel. That'll literally just make it better for everybody. War bonds, more stability. Hey, Gamel, you have been taken. Thank you. Uh, radar. We'll need to focus on more fuel eventually as well. But, you know, for now we're doing okay. Extra soldier there, huh? What if you come over this way and do that? Don't let them push in any harder. Then guys should be ours very soon. Good. Another victory for the Fatherland. one. Rostov, as well as up there too. Thanks for doing great. Taking out the that their enemies over there. 
Nice. If you're wise, oh, Romania. Partisans. We started receiving reports of mass attacks on our garrisons and front support systems in the occupied territories of the USSR. A massive guerrilla war was begun in the rear, which will significantly slow down our advance into the depths of the Soviet Union. We need to take urgent measures to stabilize our rear so that partisan attacks will disrupt our offensive operations. Darn. End of the war in the east. The attrition of that army suffered in Russia has finally stopped. Oh. Wait, what? Vlasov captured. They're in the most recent enemy retreat. A uh, high-ranking Soviet general has been captured by our forces, and in our custody, this general, Andrei Vlasov, has professed anti-Bolshevism and now pr pr proposes raising divisions of captured Russians to fight alongside the, us against Stalinism. Yeah. Sounds good to me. Uh, Raj? Why not? How many divisions do they have left? 243. Well, that's a pretty good amount, but they still have probably millions and mil upon millions upon millions upon millions of men. No, they don't. Not yet. They got plenty of guns, though. Mm -hmm. Well, the tanks are doing great up here. Ah, uh, we need to do this south. Chain of cuff. Word of bonds. Um, reform Ukraine or something would be cool. Middle Africa? Oh. We need all this stuff. Well, we'll see after this war's over. We'll see. Innovations are nice. Army innovations? Lessons learned in other facilities in the USSR will allow us to go further to improve our doctrines and equipment. However, this time we'll keep the advances to ourselves. Sounds good to me. Oh. Mm, still suffering from fuel issues. Oh, you know what? Let's do this one. Resistance activity chance, but more compliance growth speed. Screw it. DEA. Wait, what? They joined us in our ally, right? Go ahead, guys. Atomic research? Nice. It is 41. Oh, it makes sense. It is 41, so. Um, why not? Sevastopol. Attack on Pearl Harbor. Very cool. I mean, not very cool, but it's good for us. Let's follow Sevastopol. Very good, very good, very good. Southern Front is going very well for us, I'd say. Very well for us. Extremely well for us. Maybe too well for us, to be honest with you. Sure, America, come on through our lands. Yeah. Yeah. Well then. Losses. We're suffering quite a few more casualties now. We'll have a collaboration government done soon. Why is there literally no supply hubs around here? Why? Mm, fuel gain, I think we'll be okay for that now. Supply of construction speed, army re reorganization, reinforce rate. Um, I thought they already died. Hey, operation completed, nice. Eh, wax bond, why not? Be quiet. Hmm. Partisans, huh? Makes sense. Let's 
fine, it's fine, it's fine. Partisan stuff here. I'll put down some partisans for now. Mm. In Ukraine, why not? Sure, guys, come on in. Come join the fray. Fall of Stalingrad, which should help reset some of this stuff, right? No? Okay. Anti-sub stuff doesn't matter. 45%. Nice. Surrender. Lower the surrender level by 30%. Good. Fall of Moscow. Not bad. Take this tile. They can't supply down here. Oh, yeah, they can. Bombing the living crap out of them. Organization recovery rate is very good. War bonds are alright. Anything else? Not really, no. Special projects. I would like to integrate Poland, but we'll see. Hey, we get him. We got him. Soon enough, they won't have any oil left, too. So we'll have no oil. Fall of Manila. Spain in the Axis will follow the Union. Uh, we can sway more countries to join our side. Spain will be interested in joining if we promise to control the Gibraltar and French positions in Morocco. Turkey in the Axis will follow the Union. We can sway more countries to our side. Turkey will be interested in joining if we promise to control the French and British colonies in the uh, Middle East. Yeah, very historical now when we have uh, Spain in as well as Turkey. All right then. One stop shop trip all the way to Baku, please. What if we were to do Poland? Welcome aboard, Gov General Government of Poland. For Hans Frank. Controls were Zaza, Kios, Stanislaw. Oh, they don't own Stanislaw. Yeah, well, that sucks. Should have looked at that before we actually did that, but whatever. Hey, Bakuzars. We should have fuel out the wazoo now. So we should have no fuel problems from here on out. Did you think I'd actually capitulate uh, both the Allies and the co at least the Soviet Union in this episode? Did you think I'd actually do that? Hmm. That's a Ubung. Nor was a critical strategic point and would be an obvious point of attack for enemy wanting to disrupt or steal trade with Sweden. Of course, we can't risk setting up a naval base in the region to obtain a good staging area for the invasion of Norway, which is the first thing to move on to Mark first, which we did talk about earlier. Alright. Uh, conclusion's been wounded. We do that too, it's fine for now. Hmm. That's not bad. Equipment capture ratio. Free repair. Reinforce rate, even more reinforce rate. Armor speed. Uh, motorized mechanized attack. Recon's not bad. Army organization regain. Volta. 5% more breakthrough. Research speed attack. Uh. You know what? Oh, uh, I'll go with you, because we can. Something a little different. And I'll go with modern Blitzkrieg. Italy demands fishy territory. It is a man of the victory hand for civil and courts. Could be a boon to Italy, but be concerned the French colonial authorities. We can have Savoy. We don't care. We have other pressing issues to attend to first. Like the collapse of the communist state. The Bolshevik state. That was never a good Bolshevik. You're all slavel? Seriously, how much, more, how much longer? No much longer. Cool. And they are dying here. So I say with this one, let's just like everything in. We might get an event to release somebody here too. Yeah. 
Which, I don't know if that really makes sense for us to take everything. Especially if we want to, like, set up, like, a like a Russian government state over there, too. Like, past the AA line. But, you know, whatever. Whatever. It is what it is. Actually, blueprint stealing. Can we occupy territories? Poland. Can we return, like, some territory to Poland? Like, general government Poland? Yugoslavia. Yeah, you guys can have that stuff back. Um, Estonia, Finland. Yeah, you guys can have that. Greater Finland. Nice. Um, hmm. Maybe not. What do we come up to here? Ah! Oh, Ukrainian Legion. Oh, I got all the stuff here. Hey, but you know what? I think I'll end the episode here. Maybe we'll keep playing around with this, and we'll see what happens in the next video. If you enjoyed this uh, episode, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see what else we can do. What the heck? Why are they changing in front? Um, in terms of world domination, I guess. Because we can. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.